What's up y'all, this is Dominic with Port Pumper Society. So I recently had a disgruntled customer call into our office and claimed that I didn't pump out all the solids from a septic tank. I immediately told him that I have dated and geotagged pictures and videos of the entire job from start to finish, so I don't know how I didn't pump out all the solids. Now, if you watch my videos, you know I'm pretty thorough with pumping out a septic tank. I even rinse it off at the bottom. That way I can take pictures and video that we did complete the job and got all the way to the bottom of the septic tank. So when I first arrived to this particular job site, the customer pointed out where the lids were, so I opened them up in front of him and exposed the inlet and the outlet pipe. Now, the outlet pipe was underwater. So for those of you that are in the industry, you know that when the outlet pipe is underwater, there's a problem with the drain field. The effluent from the septic tank is not exiting into the drain field the way it's supposed to. Now, this could be a number of issues, but we really have no way to tell unless we do some diagnostic work, run a camera through the outlet pipe, and see what the problem is. Well, this customer was kind of strapped for cash, so he didn't want us to go that route. He just wanted us to pump out the tank. So we explained to him very clearly that this septic tank, even though it's a thousand gallons, is going to fill up pretty quick after we pump it out. So here in Texas, the average person uses about 90 gallons of water a day, and that's just for one person. So if you have a thousand gallon septic tank and you use 90 gallons of water a day, after that 10 day mark, your tank is going to be full. So anyways, after explaining everything, the customer did not want to pay for any further diagnostic work. Um, he just wanted us to pump the tank out. And he said he would handle everything else himself. So we made it clear it's going to fill up and got to work. So fast forward about two weeks. Uh, that's when he called and told us that we didn't pump it out correctly. And we hit him with the receipts and he quickly backtracked and said, oh, well, can y'all pump it again? And we explained to him, yes, but I mean, it's going to cost the same thing as when we first pumped it out. So that's why it's important to understand what is going on with your septic system. And I figured I'd make this video explaining how a septic tank works. That way you won't be in the same boat as this customer and thinking that we're trying to scam people. So first things first, let's talk about what a septic system is. And this is going to pertain to a conventional septic system. Now, the septic system consists of two main parts. You have the septic tank itself and the drain field. So in the septic tank, waste from the home is separated into three layers. The top layer is going to be the scum layer. It's made of fats, oils, and grease. The middle layer is wastewater or effluent. And the bottom layer is the sludge. That's the heavier solids. Now, the wastewater in the middle is what is eventually going to exit and drain in the drain field. So in the drain field, the wastewater exits through perforated pipe through gravel and is eventually discharged through the soil where it's treated. Now if the drain field is failing or not functioning properly, the wastewater can't seep through the soil so it has nowhere else to go but back into the tank and eventually back into your home. You can see where this becomes a problem. Now the drain field could be failing due to various reasons. It could be oversaturated a lot of times if you, there's a lot of rain in the area or if you have a water leak where water is constantly entering the tank and going out into the drain field, it'll become saturated and won't be able to absorb any more effluent. There could also be a collapsed pipe. It could also be tree roots, but there's no way to know unless you run a camera or start digging, which the customer did not want us to do. So if you have a septic tank and it's overflowing and your septic pumper pumps it out, if nothing is done about the drain field, it is gonna fill right back up and you're gonna be in the exact same boat you were before. So take preventative measures, make sure you have your septic tank pumped out every two to five years or more, depending on your household size or what's recommended in your state or county. I guess that's another lesson if you're doing this um, out in the field or any kind of contractor doing work, make sure you document your work to uh, cover your ass. That way you never have an instance where somebody's slandering your name, you've got proof to back up your work. So that's my little story and I'm going to follow this up with the video of said job. So yeah, if this is your first time watching, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That'll let you know when I upload a new video. And if you'd like to try out any of the tools I use in my videos, you can check the description down below. I've got links to everything. It helps out me and it helps out the channel. And if you as a homeowner have any questions about septic systems, maybe you have an issue with yours, uh, drop a comment down below and maybe I'll make a video covering that subject. And maybe I can share stories of instances similar that I've ran into in the past and how we solved those problems. So without further ado, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. 